debut in 1966, it was in the original Broadway production of Woody Allen's hit play, Don't Drink the Water. One actress truly earned the reputation of the vixen of the cul-de-sac, Donna Mills. Donna was tough off-screen as well. She says she would complain to producers about the scripts, locations, and wardrobe, and usually would get her way. I wasn't exactly quiet and retiring when I was there. I just saw such potential. It's hard to believe this petite blonde beauty could throw her weight around, but fans can thank Donna for instigating some of the most eye-catching improvements on the show. I told them that I thought they needed a higher clothes budget. I helped them get clothes from Escada. I kept pushing all the time for the look of the show to be better and better. And of course, the other women on the show wanted that too. She also pushed to move away from the cul-de-sac scene. We had a used car business, and we were in a garage and a used car lot a lot of the time. And I said, I don't know anybody who wants to come home from work, turn on the TV, and look at a garage. They finally got us out into Malibu, into rolling hills, and, you know, beautiful ranches and things like that. And I think it made a, a great deal of difference in the show. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I just go wound up from all the excitement, I guess. Ah. Donna's determination Whoa. didn't go unnoticed by her castmates. Donna knows what she wants, and you know where you stand with her. Um, she doesn't mouse around about it. One element of the show that didn't need fixing for Donna was all those chances to seduce everyone's husband. I mean, I got to do great scenes, great love scenes with really great-looking guys, Ted Shackelford, Bill Devane, you know, a lot of fun guys. Roll this way. Roll for it. Like this? There. That's it. E.T. joined Donna and Ted on the set in 1982 for a rare and revealing glimpse at the making of a love scene. Donna, can you come up on your knees just a little bit more up on Ted? That one? Yeah. yeah. It was plain to see what looked completely natural on TV actually required countless rehearsals, careful choreography, and don't forget a little breath spray. What? what? Look at each other. Yes. At least in this scene, Donna got to wear a flesh-colored bodysuit. At times, it was just her birthday suit. But clothed or not, making love for the camera is always a little awkward. I think I look over. <laughs> yeah, the gallery. People over there. Ted, on the other hand, seemed more at ease wearing just his skivvies or even less. I mean, he would flash me. You know, we'd, we'd have scenes in, in jacuzzis and showers and all these kinds of things. And, I, and it's, you know, we have it in blooper reels and things, you know, that we get. I'd turn around and he'd be going like this with his towel and I'd be, ah! <laughs> Donna was 36 when she started on Knots. Back in 1971, she played Clint Eastwood's girlfriend in the first film he directed, Play Misty for Me. Was there anything wrong? No. After becoming a household name on Knots, Donna shocked her fans by quitting following season number nine. I had some power, I had some clout, I could get some things done, I could get, make some movies and do some things that I wanted to do. Donna cut loose in a string of TV movies, even shedding her sexy image to play a mother accused of murder in one and an abused wife in another. But in 1996, Donna rejoined the world of nighttime soap when she signed on as Josie Bissett's mom on Melrose Place. I'm Donna Mills. Now is the time to recapture the youthful appearance you thought was lost forever. Now in her 50s, Donna balances career and real-life motherhood. She has created a line of eye makeup called The Eyes Have It, and she has a daughter whom she adopted at four days old in 1994. It's a whole new life, and I'm just loving it. Coming up on Knott's Landing Revealed what the producers warned Nicola Sheridan about when she joined the show. Donna Mills is going to hate you. It's like the two bitches. Michelle Phillips goes from rock and roll mama to soap siren. Nobody wanted to hire me. Her quickie Hollywood marriage. It was a mistake. The bad blood between her and her ex. John has um, chosen not to. Welcome back to Entertainment Tonight's Not Flat Revealed. Michelle Phillips was one of the original members of the Mamas and the Papas and once sang their song dedicated to the one I love on a 1987 episode of the show. Michelle Phillips and Nicolette Sheridan played the sexy mother and daughter on the show. Yeah, but no soap opera storyline could come close to imitating the wild lives they led off screen. It's true, I have had a, 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 an amazing, an amazing life. Michelle has an eye and an ear 
uh, for extreme wickedom. I feel like I'm on acid. <laughs> really. From her early days of sex, drugs, and rock and roll to her second career as a successful actress, Michelle says she never shied away from a new experience, even when the producers of Knots asked her to pose naked as her character. They had me uh, pose naked for the show twice. I was very happy to, uh, to do the nude for the show. Uh, I knew that they couldn't show too much. It was just the idea that, I was, uh, that, that the character uh, was so willing to do it. Hi, Mother. Hi. Michelle became hey, Nicolette well, Sheridan's well, conniving well. mother on season eight. Yeah, exactly. Off camera, they grew to be close friends who still stay in touch, as Nicolette told us at her Hollywood Hills home. Going to ring. Hello, darling. It's your mother. Your mother from hell. <laughs> oh, goody. What do you want? I was so terribly cruel to her. <laughs> and I just loved it. We used to try to find ways to be really cruel to each other. We'd see the script and we'd say, oh, we can do better than this. Nicolette was 22 and best known for her screen debut in The Sure Thing when she joined the cast in 1986. And it came with a warning from the producers. You're really going to like working with everybody, but Donna Mills is going to hate you. So I thought, oh, that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> but we got along famously. Donna says they were rivals, but only in character. We had some actually fun scenes because that, that's, you know, that's kind of fun to do, that kind of like the two bitches, you know. When Donna left the show in 1989, it opened the door for Michelle. They needed another blonde bitch. Her original run lasted just one season because her contract wasn't renewed. I was crushed, crushed. And, um, and then the following season, they asked me to come back. So I, I did six seasons all together. Yeah. Since she and Nicolette were both relatively new to acting, whenever one's performance missed the mark, the other would let her know about it. I just looked at her and went, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> She's like, I beg your pardon? I'm, who are you? What are you doing? This is awful. Tell me something I'll believe. And she started laughing. She looked fell off her chair. And, and we, uh, <laughs> we started the scene again and, and got it going. But Michelle had a hard time watching the young starlet marry Harry Hamlin in 1991. They divorced less than a year later. Her marriage to Harry was a mistake, but I told her that. <laughs> I told him that. I think they were just not well suited. It was a case of fairy tales don't always come true. Of course, Michelle has suffered her share of failed marriages. In the 60s, she and husband John Phillips were part of the classic folk rock band, The Mamas and the Poppets. But Michelle had an affair with another band member, and it contributed to their divorce in 1970. To this day, they haven't reconciled. John has um, chosen not to uh, talk to me or to be friends with me or to have anything to do with me. And uh, I'm sorry that that's his attitude, but it is. And, uh, you know, so I, I don't know, I don't even know why. The same year she left John, Michelle rushed right into one of Hollywood's most infamously ill-fated relationships with Dennis Hopper. It was a very short marriage. It was an eight-day marriage. What can I say? The happiest eight days of my life. Today, Michelle can truly say she's happy. She's found love again with a plastic surgeon, Dr. Stephen Zatz. I've known Stephen for uh, 30 years, maybe more. Um, and he actually uh, closed the incision on my daughter's leg when she had an operation when she was three. That little girl was China Phillips, who now has children of her own with husband Billy Baldwin, making Michelle one proud grandma. Her name is Jameson Leon Baldwin. And Michelle's acting career rocks on. She has a recurring role on the WB show Popular. My advice, play to win or get out of the way. I'm just the most hideous person alive. <laughs> Nicolette is busy putting together plans for a return to television, but to this day, she's best recognized for her work on Knots. People do constantly, say, oh my God, please, hey, Nicolette. <laughs> um, but you know what, I'm proud of Paige, 
and that's quite a lot. Percy theorists have long suggested that I Dream of Genie was really an elaborate smoke screen set up to debunk rumors of NASA's actual top secret Genie technology program. Of course, in reality, I Dream of Genie was just a TV show. Or was it? We'll see you next time for another edition of E.T. in TV Land. Take care. I had no idea it was going to be as successful as it was. What the magazines wanted and every all the publicity was about was the glamorous ladies. And the men kind of were in the background. And that was, uh, I think that was somewhat difficult for them. It's soap opera in New York for about you know, two and a half years that the show was kind of going down when, we were, when I was on. And Knott's was like, uh, it was like one of the, it was a huge hit TV show. And I got on that show and it was really kind of a, a, a rush. He totally connected. He was my brother. Or this guy that he was. He had me uh, pose naked for the show twice. I was very happy to, uh, to do the nude for the show. He grabbed me and threw me down on this lounge chair and gave me this big, hot, wet kiss.